Today's reading is an entry from the Monster Girl Encyclopedia named Dragon Newt. Minions of the evil dragons, Malith dragons, that share the black scales with their master, most dragon newts, are monsterized ex-human women who are given the blood of an evil dragon as proof of their minionhood and devotion. The tremendous power of the dragon's blood is inebriating and they are thrilled to be dragons. Additionally, it is said that they acknowledge their fondness for, towards human men as a clear desire to breed and feel that it is awfully preferable to be driven by that torturous lust. Perhaps due to that reason, there's always an ecstatic expression on their face, their cheeks flush with arousal, and their eyes melt with intoxication. The evil dragon kingdoms where dragon newts lurk are mostly former human states that were conquered by Malith dragons, but even post-domination, their lives remain largely the same as before. On the surface, things probably don't even look very different than before the dragons seized power. For instance, some are kindly city girls who lavish with simple smiles, while others are soldiers who honestly strive to protect the people and their masters. However, their souls are utterly stained in the wicked desires, much like their masters. They plot to lay claim to the one that they love and desire to lash out according to their reproductive urges, and thus their hearts are exactly those of their evil dragon masters. They will flaunt their draconic bodies whenever the opportunity arises and use any means necessary to sate their wicked desires. The kindness of city girls in evil dragon kingdoms is a direct consequence of their wicked desire for men. Behind that smile, she's only thinking of how to get her prey to indulge her. If she got her eye on a man, even a soldier who seems decent at a glance will take advantage of her position to try and lure him into a place where it's impossible to escape from breeding. What's more, although monsters are normally much less dangerous if they already have a husband, in the case of the dragon newts, you can't let your guard down even around married individuals. It appears that they instinctively delight in the birth of new dragons that follows mating when their dragon comrades obtain mates, so even married individuals will actively assist their unmarried comrades in getting men and will hatch wicked little schemes to that end. Instinctively, they understand that the ascendance of their master, the evil dragons, means the arrival of the world where they are the dragons can breed passionately, just like how humans worship the chief god, pray for peace, and value their present-day tranquility. The dragon newts worship their progenitors of the evil dragons, pray for the arrival of the world prosperity through dragons, and long for a future in which humans exist for dragon reproduction. By continuously sating the desire of their wicked passion, they are the vanguard of the evil dragons to achieve this world domination.